All right, hello people of the internet and welcome back to another exciting review of Midwest Tokusatsu's Toku Toy Time. I am Brock and this week we are taking a look at the Russia Sentai Tokusher Diesel O. Now, as you can see, I have the three individual packages and as you can see by this image over here, this is the price on Amazon of all three in the single box that says Diesel O. And this image over here is the price I paid by buying the individual ones. Buy the individual ones. You'll save money. Wow. All right, so that aside, <laughs> um, this is something I've wanted for a while now. Just, I don't know. The first Mecha, um, you know, Tokyo was really cool to me. I like Diesel O. Build Russia was okay. And then Tokyo Rainbow Hyper Russia just went. <laughs> so I won't be reviewing that one ever. Um, I'll probably get Build O. Build Dio eventually, so. But we have the Tokyo Brace on, we have the boxes, so let us begin and take a look at the box for number six, Tank Russia. As you can see, there is the Russia. There it is on the Tokyo O. Here is the top, here is the side, here is another side, there is a bottom, and here is the back. Away with that box. On to number seven, Train, Train, in a Morpher. On the tr vehicle, the, the Zord and the stuff with the hoo-hahs and makes big thing. All right, that's the side. And then the big guy, Diesel O. There he is, shiny. There is the length. This is a big box because he is a big boy. Here he is on the back. You have Cho Tokyo. You have all of the things. You have a side. You have another side. You have a bottom. Really cool photo. And we're done. I went through those fast because there were three boxes. I didn't want to spend a lot of time on three boxes. But who cares? Trains! Trains! So let's take a look at the first one. Whee! Tank Russia. Now, let me adjust the camera down slightly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the individual Russias first. And then we'll take a look at them on Tokyo. And then we will make Diesel O and so on. But... Here he is, Tank Russia. As you can see, a very, very nice looking Russia. I love the blue for him. I think the grays are in a very nice place for him. He's supposed to be a refill Russia, basically. Give him more fuel. I love that you've got, here are the ports that will eventually connect into the sides of Tokyo, but they don't look out of place. It really fit the motif. And then here's the other side, you know, you've got more stuff. There's, eh, it's not so bad. And of course you can slow them apart and flip out the little thing and hook it on. And then you got wee snaky snake. Snake-like snakeness of snake stuff does snake things. Now, of course you can take this and then plug it into your Tokyo Brace. So let's do that. That is the most interesting noise I've ever heard. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It sounds like the last few, like it's supposed to be like the last few pumps of a uh, fueling, but I, it, it's, it's weird. So out with it. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, tank Russia. Nothing too special. I like the design. So we'll put him back here. Whee! And we'll take a look at car carrier Russia. This one's got a little bit more going on for it. So, come in first close on Car Carrier. Very nice yellow, plays off the uh, grays, and I like the white for the accent. That just works really well on this. You can see inside is yellow and green up here at the front. Come to the back, and pink is right in there. Whee! And then you've got blue on the top. And then here's red. Here's the other side. 
This blends in a lot better, these little clips that fold out. And of course with this one, you can take the front and flip it forward so you have the extended ramp to take red and it actually does come off. So then you can zip it off and into the distance and get lost forever. One thing I don't like about this is that it does come off. Um, I've been very tempted to like glue it into place so that I never lose it because sometimes it sticks on here really nicely and then other times it just falls off. So be careful. Be careful. And of course you can split it in half and then you can do this and then you can do that. And then you got, ah, uh, there, ah, snake, I command you. There it is, snakey snake. So that's fun. And of course, took you brace. That noise I like a little bit better than Tank Russia. It's shorter, but I like it. Hey, and you can flip this out here, and then you can maybe have it just zip off a car while on your Tokyo brace. So, very nice. I like it. I like it. So, of course, you have that. And then... Um, you know what? Here, we're going to do Tokyo. So, hold it. One second. Here he is, big guy himself. We'll bring the camera up a little bit. Hello, Tokyo. Isn't he looking nice? Now, we're bringing him in because we're going to take and show the combinations of these individual guys with Tokyo first. So for Car Carrier Russia, you just come here to yellow and yeah, arm off and then put it on and there you go. You've got a gigantic punching, launching cannon thing that can get even longer when you do that. It's, it's interesting how they use it in the show. It's like this giant, giant, long-reaching gun slash punch, but it, it's interesting. So there's Car Carrier Russia. It just, it makes his arm as long as him. So... Pretty cool. I like it. It's interesting. So you can take that off and then just set him off to the side and we'll leave yellow off and then we'll rip off pink. So we can also show off Tank Russia. Split him in half and then I think it's... We're just going to do it this way. It doesn't matter which way you want to do it, but I'm sure there's a proper way and I'm going to get yelled at for it being the wrong way, but oh well! So there you go, you've got punching gloves of doom tank. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 Punch, punch, left, right, left, right, left, right. Punch, 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 punch. All right, we're good. So yeah, there it is. Tank Russia on Tokyo. It's nice, I like it. I like it a lot. So we'll pop off Tank Russia and we'll put these guys back here again and we'll say goodbye to Tokyo. Bye Tokyo! All right now let me adjust the camera down just a little bit and then we will take a look at the last of the new trains that for today and that is Diesel O and as you can see he is really big really 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 big in fact I'm gonna have to angle him like that and bring the camera down just a bit more get them all in there you go, that is that is Diesel O. Now, um, for comparison, that it, it my fingers, like, my elbow's at the front of it. There, wait, hold it, we'll do it, there we go. Now you can see, it's right at my elbow at the front and my fingers don't even reach the back. It's longer than my forearm. That's how big this thing is. It's long, it's awesome, and it's long, so. <laughs> Taking a look at it in detail, we'll bring the big guy up. So here you can see the front, and I love the way that Diesel O just looks at the front with those nice, like, engines, that crisp 
blue. It just, it looks so awesome. And I love that deep, like, maroon red. Just work its way down its body. Now, of course, you come back here to where it's carrying the, um, uh, oh, what do they call these? Uh, <laughs> the uh, shipping crates. And they do function. One of them does, at least. You can hide something that'll get lost forever in there. But it does work, so that's cool. Let me get to the back, flip them around. And then it's pretty much the same story down the other side. So it's nice and long. Now, with this, you can do super snake motion by ripping off this, and you can flip out the front here, and then you can come to the back, you rip off the back, flip this out, and flip, flip, flip. It's not flipping. Ah, because I'm reaching here to try and flip. Really long piece that's all the way there. There, now it's flipped. So you can flip that out, flip that out, and kind of get those. So now you've got like two snake points. Doesn't really snake very well, but you can also then kind of use, if you, ah, nope. If you pull out a little bit at the front and a little bit at the back, then you get like some extra. Hin nah. Just, <laughs> I'm trying to show this off. You can kind of cheat it and use these hinge points to get some extra, like, really deep turns. And then you can also use what'll be the future leg points. And then you can get, like, this really deep curve to it. So it can kind of really curve one direction, which is pretty cool. So we'll just put him back together. Eek. All right, there you go. Now he's a straight straight train again. And then for comparison, we'll bring in Tokyo Ichigo's train. And as you can see, Tokyo Ichigo's train is long and it doesn't even go it goes just past halfway on diesel O, on uh, diesel Russia. So, this thing is big, really long. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, of course, Tokyo Brace! So I like I like the sound that Diesel Rusher makes in the Tokyo Brace. I think it's really, really nice. But Diesel Rusher by itself. All right. Now, of course, this means that these guys can't come together. Of course they can. That's why they were put together in a single packaging for Diesel O. And you can, of course, here we'll just flip out port back here. We'll flip out port under here. And there you go, you've got the really long diesel O train set just zooming by. But that's not what we're here to see. We're not here to see a bunch of just trains. We're here to see trains come together in the formation of a giant Megazord. And the way that works is we're gonna do it just like in the show. So we're going to take it and we're going to split it right here. And this piece, this middle piece, is just going to go off to the side for a second. Then what you're going to do is you're going to flip the trains around together like this. And inside, you need to flip down just one of these. One of these black pieces. Because right now they've got, you know, two, like, receiving ports. And if you flip down, now you've got the connecting. And you just want to clip them together. Just like that. And then that will hold them together temporarily. 
it's it's one of the points, but the other point comes from this guy. So, and then we'll just take the reshos and we'll attach them to the legs, just like that. So now you've got this long two trains essentially, and you're just gonna take it and you're gonna flip it up here at the feet. So flip the feet right there, toes up, and then you just wanna spread them out a little bit. And now we're going to raise the camera up, focus on the top half. So now we're looking at the top half. And you're gonna pull up on both of these sections so you reveal that little bit and then you're gonna flip out right here and see they clip right in. Now you pulled out because now that gives you shoulder joints to flip them down so they're at his side. Bring this top section in, have tocuser facing to the back. Bring it down, you can see that there are ports right there, ports right here, just put them together like so, like so, there it goes. Flip out these little shoulder panels and then take this front face plate and flip it down and as you can see it's gonna clip right here into the chest and that'll hold everything together. And you get the reveal of the face and Tokyo, not Tokyo, oh, Diesel O, Grandpa. Oh, I love Grandpa. I think this is just a really well designed uh, set. The colors work very well together. I like that you get this nice blue over here to complement the blue down here on the leg. Um, the yellow all works together here. I love the chrome in this chest plate. That's just really nice. Take a look at it kind of as a whole first. Now we'll take a look at it just a little bit closer up. So, eh, get a good shot of its chest first. So here it is, the head sculpt. Gotta say, I really dig the nice green on the eyes. I think that comes off very nicely. Face is good, some nice detailed molding here along the sides. Just little things that don't even need to be there. I love the gold pipes coming up. This chrome in the chest is really nice. You can see here the shoulders, how that piping continues up and out on both shoulders, tying them together. And I like how that's kind of revealed as you, because here it is with the normal just train. And then as you pull out and fold down and open up, everything still forms together. Really makes that nice and uniform. Coming down on the body, I like how this section kind of gives you like this defined upper pec area. Here's his abs. Get down to his waist. I just think this looks really nice as a mecha. Now like the trains, they're flat. They're just very flat. So they look good from the front and that's an angle, but if they're at the side, they're just boring and the back is the back is even worse, so don't expect much there. I'm going to bring the camera down just a little bit. There we go. And of course the big thing with Diesel O is that he doesn't really have hands. He's got one hand and another just train. He's got no weapons, he just punches and kicks. But that's okay because he's a powerhouse. And he just boom, 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 boom. And then he, you know, does a essentially rider kick into, rider tornado kick into like everything. So I really like that. Now, for comparison, let's bring in his buddy. So here's his buddy, Tokyo O. As you can see next to each other, they look really nice just standing next to each other. Um, one complaint I have is that his arms don't go a little bit like more to his side. I kind of wish they would just a little. How Tokyo is, is, you know, it's a normal stance here. He's just kind of like, mm, I'm a muscular, burly guy. Yeah. yeah. But, and I, I get that. I get the aesthetic of it, but I just, it's, it's hard to put them on a shelf. So, they look really good together. I think. It's my opinion. So, put them off to the side for just a second. Now, I'm just going to show it off the way it is in the show because I like how these trains come together. So, I'm going to lower the camera down again. 
There's so much camera movement, I'm very sorry, folks. So we're just gonna rip everything apart and put it back into train form. Close, close, slide in, flip up, pull off. Just like that. All right. There we go, individual trains. And then, and then here is the rest of the trains. Now, I've already got these guys put together part way and the ports on these guys flipped out. So they're set to go and they're just gonna be off to the side for a second. Now, with these, to prepare them, because they're gonna be coming at it in this manner, the way this gets prepared is you're gonna flip, split these guys apart and you're gonna take this section, bring it off to this side. So now you've got four trains just like that. Now for these, you wanna flip out this port and then flip out the black on both sides so the clips are facing out. So flip out that, flip out this, and you're good. On these, you wanna flip out the little black ports that I was telling you about before, clips. Same goes here, little clips right there. And you're set to go. So in the show, what happens is you get this really cool sequence of essentially trains smashing into each other, which I always liked, so I wanted to just show it off. So essentially they pass by each other, and as they're passing by, they stop and they get stuck, like so, and so for your purposes, they're just coming together port to port, just like that at the side. And then these are now connecting to the new holes on the outside of Diesel O. Same goes for the other side, there you go, just like that. And then these are coming, and they're connecting to these ports on the outside of green and blue. So like I said, you get this really awesome sequence of events where it's like, eh. There you go. Where you've got two trains essentially just passing each other, and as they pass, they just couple. So I like that a lot, and I just kinda wanna show off what it looks like in this laying down form and then everything just stands up so with these they actually have releases whereas with green and blue on here the releases to bring the feet back down the releases on here are on the sides to actually bring the feet up so for blue it's this little black button right here and you hold it and then that lets you flip it up and as you can see it's got this gray port right here now to keep it in line and at an angle for when it's standing in robot mode and then for car carrier, it's this little yellow slider right here and you just flip, hold that up and then you can flip up the foot. So then of course everything stands and then the feet split apart and you've got red rusher that's gonna come up and oh, things that shouldn't be seen. Flip that up and connect it in. Then we'll raise the camera up now that we've given them feet. And of course you just flip around the hands and you want to take green and blue and flip those down and around so they're facing the proper direction. Flip down red, but don't flip up Tokyo Ichigo's head. Just leave that tucked there. With these, you want to pull them up again so they're at that joint. You want to rotate them so that they're going to be facing out. And then just bring them down. Now you can bring them down all the way like that but I bring them down just one click, just like that. Then bring in the middle piece and have Tokyo facing the front this time. Connect it where Tokyo Ichigo's head normally would be. And then flip up the little panels and hey, look at that. You have a face and now you have Cho Tokyo, Super Tokyo. And I just love that name. And I gotta say, this grew on me. I hated the look of it when I first saw it. I thought it was just the most disgusting toy I'd ever seen, but it really did grow on me. I, I can't tell you what it was that made me change my mind. Maybe it was the show, but in general, it's not a bad looking figure. We're gonna pull back here so you can really see the whole thing. He's a big boy. Like, really, really big. 
So we'll just adjust the camera up a little so that I can really focus in on the head for you guys. As you can see, really, really nice head sculpt. Again, with the really nice green eyes. I love the metallic gold for his crest. It's a nice head. It's just really nice. And then of course, you know, you've just got the rest of the trains. Nothing really new is revealed in this mode, but it's interesting to see how they use it. I like how they use Tokuo now, as, or Diesel O, as these like giant shoulder cannons. And then like I said, when he's in this form, it just seems rather front heavy. So that's why I always just kind of leave him up a click. It's like final attack resting. So this, this is how I leave him on my shelf. And I think that looks Fan friggin tastic. So, all right. Well, I think that pretty much does it for this review. I've talked about everything I can talk about with Dieselo. So, if you like what you saw and you want more, please click the subscribe button, like, comment, share, and favorite the video. And if you want to see a specific review of anything, just comment below, guys. Uh, I'll have links for where you can purchase this item as well as where you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram, all in the description. I highly recommend going to Amazon to pick up the three individual parts just for the savings, the price, it's, you can't really beat it. Once again, this has been Brock of Midwest Tokusatsu and Toku Toy Time, and we are out of here. Next time on Toku Toy Time. Bonus shot time. Yeah, over seven feet of train.